All right, so here we have the new Venom series from Brother Hobby. These are 2206, 1900 KV, 2400 KV, and 2600 KV. Uh, so these were sent in by Brother Hobby, uh, so I can uh, test them and review them and show the results to you guys. So thanks, Brother Hobby, for sending them in for uh, for testing. Uh, so the one interesting feature about this motor is that it's one of the most sealed motors that I've come across. So by that I mean it's enclosed, there's nothing that is exposed, you know, this like uh, typical motors. So as you can see the, the motor armature pretty much uh, enclosing all of the motor. Of course it's not going to be fully sealed, it's not completely waterproof uh, because of course this has to rotate. But as you can see, for all practical purposes, it's pretty well sealed. Uh, so I guess the intent of this motor design is to be used in those environments that are harsh. You know, a lot of uh, wet grass, snow, a lot of mud, sandy conditions. So any environment where uh, there's potential for debris to get into the motor. Uh, so this would certainly come in handy in those situations, you know. so. You know, when you crash or when you're landing, nothing's getting on the motor and uh, possibly even damaging the motor because, you know, if you get debris or like uh, pebbles and they get, in be they get between the stator and the magnet, they may crack the magnet. But of course, having a completely sealed armature on the motor, of course, that's going to add some uh, weight penalties, which, you know, are unavo unavoidable. So there's compromises, you know, you want a light motor, it's going to be more exposed. You want a seal motor, it's going to be a little bit uh, heavier. When we check the weight, you know, we have to keep that in mind. So, quite an interesting motor from Brother Javi, and it's pretty cool that uh, Brother Javi is looking into filling almost every gap in their motor lineup. They're always looking to see what, what new feature they can bring in into the market. So, that's that's pretty cool from Brother Hobby, you know, they're, they're not uh, stagnant, you know, they're always looking for something new, so that's quite nice. And uh, the usual from Brother Hobby, it comes in this uh, very non-fancy uh, uh, box, and they just give you the minimal, uh, just standard 4M3 by uh, 6, looks like a uh, Allen screws, and a low profile aluminum nylock, so so pretty minimal stuff, uh, which is good if it keeps the cost down, uh, that's alright. As you can see the motor is uh, kind of interesting looking, it's completely sealed and it's got these uh, ridges. I imagine that's for to aid in cooling, since, since the motor is going to be sealed, uh, there's not, there's not going to be any air movement through the motor. So basically for cooling, uh, it's going to rely on the actual exchange of heat from the armature onto air. It's got uh, these uh, ridges here on the ring and on top. Uh, so that's going to be like sort of like a radiator, like a heat sink. Increase the area that's exposed to air so there's better exchange of heat. That's also on the base, as you can see, there's some ridges there. So the motor mount hole pattern uh, is uh, looks like they went with the standard 19. Uh, by 16, so 19 millimeters by 16, so that's the standard uh, pattern. So, and uh, they're uh, they're using a three millimeter shaft, and it's a one piece shaft, uh, three millimeter there, and it seems to be hollow. Let's see, yeah, it's a partially hollow, so it's hollow only this portion here. Of course, that's a three millimeter shaft, so not much that you can hollow it out right there. So the motor comes with about a hundred and 70 millimeters of 20 gauge wire for the motor leads. So typical of Brother Hobby, plenty of length to reach center mount at ESC, so that's pretty good. All right, so with 170 millimeters of wire, this motor comes in at uh, 36.2. And uh, if you were to cut the wires to 50 millimeters, you would cut that much wire. It's about 360 millimeters, uh, so that comes in at 2.8 grams. So let's tear that. Uh, so 33.4. So for a 2206, that would seem a little bit on the heavy side, but as I said, uh, you have to, we have to keep in mind that the purpose of the motor is to work 
in harsh dirty conditions so it's fully sealed so there's a lot of uh, material uh, here on the base uh, on the bell cap as you can see is solid uh, so 33 grams is actually not uh, I would say it's not that bad uh, for a fully sealed motor of course uh, this is a, a purpose uh, design motor uh, you know you're not gonna use it in an ultra light of course uh, you're gonna use it on, on a specific uh, build something that you may want to use like in uh, as I said in wet conditions uh, dusty conditions so you don't have to worry about uh, getting debris inside the motor you know if you crash it it won't get uh, uh, debris inside the motor that may uh, mess up the, the windings or get stuck in there. All three motors basically look pretty much the same. Uh, the 2400, 1900 and 2600, uh, they all look the same, the same color. So the only difference uh, is in the marking of the KV, as you can see. And of course the inside, the number of turns is going to be different. Uh, but uh, for all practical purposes, the motors look exactly the same. Yeah, so I removed the circlip on this one already, the 2600. So let's uh, pull it apart and and just uh, have a look what's inside. We'll put it on the magnifying glass to have a better look. Uh, so there it is. Let's get a close up. All right, so here's the bell and shaft assembly. There you can see the magnets. They're arc magnets. And uh, typical for Brother Hobby, most of their motors are using arc magnets these days. So as you can see, uh, the fully enclosed uh, bell right there. And uh, there's no uh, lip on the ring, on the bell ring. Uh, but the magnets seem to be pretty well glued. And uh, there is a purpose to not having a lip right there. So instead, what you can see the uh, there's actually uh, the edge of the of the ring uh, right here. It's kind of extended. So the purpose for that is, uh, as you can see, that matches. I don't know if you're going to be able to see here, but that matches the base. The base has also a little ridge uh, right there, and that. Uh, we'll see right now that matches right there so the extended ring overlaps with that ridge from the base so that helps seal, seal the motor and that's you know quite precise machining uh, because uh, there's absolutely no rubbing right there uh, so that's that's pretty good uh, you can see all the uh, detail uh, design that went into this motor uh, to try to make it as sealed as possible so that's that's pretty cool to see you know like attention to detail uh, so that's going to help keep uh, debris of course you know you you'll you probably still uh, for sure you know you'll get some very light dust um, because you know dust gets pretty much a anywhere especially this is going to be rotating at high speed so it's going to attract some, some dust, but none of the uh, large uh, chunks of debris that, that we see on the other motors. So it'll be good to use all four screws. So you also sealed up all those holes, so nothing comes through the holes. And if you're, if you're only using two or three screws, make sure you seal the, the ones that you're not using. Well, you should use all four screws anyways. But let's say you're only using two screws or one fell out, uh, you know, just somehow plug it. So there's the uh, stator, as you can see, as usual, from typical from Brother Hobby, impeccable winding, uh, very neat windings. And that bearing for a 3mm shaft would be the typical 3 by 8 by 4 So that's the standard bearing for a three millimeter shaft and that's what they're using and uh, let's measure the height of the stator should be six millimeters so yeah there you see six millimeters so and those are 0.15 laminations certainly very thin it's hard to see on the, even on the magnifying glass so 
So pretty much, you know, all the latest tech features on the motor itself, as far as uh, laminations on the uh, uh, on the stator, uh, single strand wire. So that should support pretty uh, good loads, you know, high current. Uh, arc magnets, of course. So a lot of a lot of the uh, uh, the known features that makes motors uh, perform these days. Let's uh, put this back on, and uh, we're gonna put the motors on the thrust stand and see how they perform with this type of motor. So there's some compromises, of course, uh, as far as the weight. Uh, the main attraction of the motor is gonna be how. Uh, resilient it's going to be to uh, avoiding getting clogged up with debris so that's the main uh, feature of the motor from what I can see it should really fulfill that uh, purpose it should perform well in that respect but also from looking at the uh, stator and all the other features arc magnets very thin laminations and uh, the usual single strand wire that Brother Hobby uses I imagine this motor is going to do uh, pretty respectable as far as uh, thrust and efficiency. So, so we'll check it out on the thrust stand with the usual props and see how it does. Alright, so here we have the thrust test results for the new motor from Brother Javi, the Venom 2206 2600 kV. This motor came in at 2590 as measured by the thrust stand, so pretty close to the specified 2600. Based on that kV, I tested on 3S and 4S, the usual props, 5 inch through a 6 inch prop. So of course for this motor size and kV, 5 inch is probably the best match. And as I mentioned before, the main purpose of the motor is to use it on harsh environments, so that's the main feature to keep in mind. But uh, even though the motor is just a couple of grams heavier than most 2206s because of the fully enclosed uh, armature, we still see pretty good thrust uh, results here on the 5 inch Genfan 1500, so that's pretty good actually for that prop. Uh, of course, the amps are going to be higher than the lower KV motors, you know, we're obviously we're getting higher thrust. So that's going to need more amps. And for the high thrust, the corresponding amps are going to show high. But keep in mind, this is static thrust and these are max burst amps. Uh, so the equivalent in the air is going to be around 35 to 40 percent lower. Uh, so keep that in mind. You know, don't, uh, these high numbers sometimes are uh, a little bit uh, deceiving because they, they, they appear to be quite high but that's just normal and uh, anyways that's how the thrust uh, stand reads in all the all the tests uh, you know the amps are gonna show 
quite high but uh, when you measure them in the air they're gonna be a lot lower so anyway the motor is performing quite well on five inch props breaking 1500 almost right from the beginning and as we go onto the higher pitch props the more aggressive props it uh, surpasses 1600 and uh, the amps are actually quite reasonable at uh, 46.8 amps so that corresponds to about 28 amps in flight uh, max burst amps that's only gonna happen for maybe a second or two at the most uh, uh, usually less than two seconds uh, it's just momentary you know when you punch out uh, or when you do an abrupt uh, 180 uh, that's when you see those uh, high amps but it, it's only for a second or you know at most and then as the quad gets moving uh, the props are going to unload more and the amps are going to come down so that's why i always say you know these are uh, a little bit deceiving because they're max burst so moving on to the more aggressive props dial c 5046 and 5045 a little bit above 1600 so pretty good it's still below 50 amps which is uh, equivalent to about 30 amps max so still pretty reasonable and then we move on to the larger diameter props the five and a half and six inch props and we're seeing close to 1800 uh, grams and still reasonable amps i think 55.5 uh, that's max burst uh, that's going to be around 32 or so uh, so that's that's still quite reasonable 30 amp uh, esc should be able to handle that no problem uh, so overall a pretty good performance out of this motor and uh, it should be a good option for people that want to get a motor that's going to be protected from the harsh environment uh, as i mentioned uh, dust uh, sand mud snow any of those conditions uh, this motor should do quite well I don't think there's any other motor, high performance motor on this size that, that has that feature. So so that's something to uh, keep in mind. Uh, that's the main attraction of this motor. All right, so that's the thrust test results for this new motor from other hobby, the Venom 2206 2600 kV. So pretty good performance overall. And on top of that, uh, the uh, fully enclosed feature that this motor offers should be uh, quite good for those of you that want to you know keep all the debris out of your motors if you fly in uh, harsh conditions so thanks for watching and until the next video